Hello, I'm Mark, and this is The Country Life with Columbus Mark, where I try to give you a lighthearted look at life in the country. And today, I'm going to introduce you to something new. So call me a bit crazy. I don't know what got into me, but decades ago, I wanted an RV, travel trailer, a camper of some sort where I could stay off the ground and still be in nature. And so I, I never knew what I wanted, but I did research and I knew I couldn't see myself driving a 40 foot long rig down the highway or in cities or definitely backing into a camping spot. So after some research and help from friends and a lot of YouTube videos and visiting dealers, I've ended up with my little RV. It's 21 feet, built on a Ram ProMaster chassis, made by a company in Canada called Pleasure Way. And this used, slightly used, I want to thank Jack and Colleen for taking such great care of it. And I'm here at a park, state park in South Carolina, and last night was my first night in it. And I'm gonna give you just a short tour of my new Home on Wheels. This van is small, 21 feet from bumper to bumper. Perfect for me. In fact, it fits into most parking spots. Not that I'm exactly expert at getting into them, but I'm, I'm getting here. People love to talk about tiny homes. Well, you don't get any tinier than this. I'm thinking that this van has maybe 100 square feet of usable space. Let's go inside. The grand tour doesn't take long, probably two minutes, but you'll get the idea. I'm not going to give you all the specs, just the highlights. I'm sitting in the front passenger seat which does swivel all the way around. So I'm looking at the back if I were entertaining, they'd be way back there, maybe 12 feet, maybe eight feet. The driver's seat, it swivels a little, but not very much. So this is the cab, and the rest of it's my living quarters, all in one small space. So you're looking at the living room right now. It's also the bedroom. It's also the dining room. Now, if this were a 31-foot trailer, maybe it would have separate rooms. But in something this small, it's all in one. But it's actually very comfortable. And if you look around, there are windows all the way around the living area. So that sofa you see with the dog cover on it, that folds down flat to make a bed. And there are two ottomans. You can see them on the right and the left. They butt up against that bed, memory foam, and they make either two single beds or you can put boards between them. They're in the closet here and they will make a full queen bed. So that little mount in the floor, that little circle is where a table leg goes and there's a swivel table that's also stored in the closet that goes there. So the bed becomes a sofa during the day, bed at night. I'm short enough I can sleep from uh, side to side and this still put it down, but it's all I need. Of course, there is air conditioner up there, plenty of lights, plenty of storage cabinets. You don't see many campers this size, 21 feet, that have an interior fireplace, but this one does. It's great on those cold winter nights or on those hot summer nights when you just want to feel cozy. Of course, as you probably guessed, it's actually a TV and a DVD player. One nice feature about this van is this control panel. And you can find two of them. One is you enter the sliding door and the other back in the living room, sleeping area of the van and you can do everything here almost from putting the bed down the awning out checking your tank levels turning on the lights the air conditioner the heat the fan 
And if you had to do some diagnostics, not that I know what those are, but you can go back and choose to do various things with those as well. But in any case, just another little nice feature. It also has your thermostat on it and your current temperature. So it is 62 degrees inside the van right now. So you might be wondering about cooking. Does it have a kitchen? Of course it does. And you're looking at it. This is the counter. And uh, it's pretty spacious. I don't know how long it is. More than I need for what little cooking I do. Underneath this cover is the st stainless steel sink with a nice tall faucet. And by the way, the water in here is instant hot on demand. So just like you might find in a fancy home. Down here is my two burner gas LP gas stove. I have turned that on just to see if it works, but that's been it. And below that, that is my microwave convection oven. So I can cook microwave style. I have used that. And I can also uh, use it as an oven. Pretty impressive. There is a big drawer down below. This is a two-door uh, cabinet below the sink area for storage. There's a couple small drawers in it and some space below. And then over here is, of course, the almost five cubic feet refrigerator. I'll open it up for you. There's nothing in it now except some water. It's turned off right now. Uh, well, I do have a couple of Diet Cokes in there left over from a trip in case I get stranded on the road. But, uh, tell you what, it is pretty nifty. And I'm sure you think you've seen it all. We have pretty much been on the tour. But you're probably wondering, is there a bathroom? Is there a bathroom? You better believe it. I would not have bought a camper without one. At my age, having access to a quick bathroom is important. So let's take a look. It's behind this door. Open it up. Okay. So here we go. The lighting is kind of funky in here. There is the toilet. Looks just like yours at home. I won't lift the lid up, but it is clean. And it flushes with the pedal down to the right of it. That happens to be a little trash can you probably see. There's some storage over here for all my supplies, like one ply toilet paper, full body wipes, spray. It does have a window. You can pull that shade. And yes, it does have a shower. You can either sit down and take the shower right here in the bathroom, or you can unhook that and stand up. This is just tall enough for me. Might not be tall if you're over six feet two or something like that. And then it does have a sink right here in a medicine cabinet and a towel rack over here. And down below, it has storage. And you can stand right in that spot to take your shower, or as I said, sit is called a wet bath. So when everything is uh, in one space, and you have to put a shower curtain around this cabinetry because there's electric plugs there for your hair dryer or shaver. And you see my water is dripping. I turned my water on the other day, so let's turn that off. So yes, indeed, I'm saying this bathroom is probably four feet long by maybe two feet, two and a half feet wide at that, at most. But hey, all I need. So that's the Grand Tour. It's a nice van. I'm excited to have it. One day you might catch me on the road in this van. It's silver. I hope you'll get to see me. But if you want to see me check out a place, I have a challenge going on right now. Check the link above. I'm willing to take this van to this, let's say, clothing optional camping resort. No, don't get grossed out. You're not gonna see me in my birthday suit because I'll be behind the camera. But if you wanna see what that place looks like, and it's a real place, check out the video. Just need a few more things to meet that challenge. I'm Mark. This is The Country Life with Columbus Mark. Don't forget to subscribe, share all those good things. Welcome to my neighborhood, wherever it might be. Signing off.